Good morning. Hi. It's life. Long time no see, I guess. I guess. I've really been off my game. One thing I've noticed actually too is times when I don't like just take the time to do these silly little videos are the times when I kind of spiral. The reason being, one thing I find about social media social media is fake and you know it's some people see it as kind of like self-serving and that people that post on social media are kind of obnoxious and things but i completely disagree for me social media is like such an outlet and it's a method of mindfulness the big reason being if i just live my life the way that I was I am like busy 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 and I am running around like crazy doing too much so busy not taking the time to just stop and be where my feet are whereas when I you know take pictures take videos make videos I'm like forcing myself to be so present in the moment and yeah that's like mindfulness of course so I decided I'm gonna change my life I feel like every periodically I do this like getting my shit together but I actually am this time like seriously that begins and ends with you know, taking the time to make videos because videos make me like slow down see what I'm doing look at the world around me just take more time but also then it's like so nice to watch these back because life is full of ups and downs it's also nice to see that progress speaking of which i have rebranded and this idea of like surviving and thriving in korea is kind of like underpinned the whole the whole vibe of my life here because of my allergies i think and then different situations that i've found myself in since i've lived here sometimes life in korea is survival it's just about survival getting by and i think adulthood is kind of like that as well when we work and when we're so busy we're just trying to survive and that's fine that's life that's reality but a lot of my life here is me thriving i've never felt as good about life or about myself or anything my work etc until i moved to korea and that to me is a thrive not a survive i definitely feel like korea in so many ways is home now and i want to i don't want to say it but as i'm approaching my 30s not that aging is bad aging is such a blessing i'm so lucky but I feel like as I'm maturing, I should say, I really want to create the life that I feel like I deserve for myself. And that means just taking it seriously and the fact that I'm the one that has the control here. Let's show the reality of that. So I thought, if you look back on the videos that I've done, some of them are so nice, like celebrating big milestones and birthdays and big events and traveling. That's like, I'm thriving, living my life best that I can be and then other vlogs have been pure survival like allergy problems visits to the hospital having surgery feeling so anxious that like I literally ended up in the A&E those kinds of things are just I'm, I'm surviving folks and that's the reality so I thought why not just like portray that more and like focus on that more and have that as like the, the focus so here we are I kind of just thought I should talk about it recently I've really been just trying to take my health seriously because like my stress and anxiety started to really manifest in my body like physically and that is like alarm bells that's the time where you have to like stop what you're doing and think okay I really need to make a change because basically your body saying ah it's all too much and if you don't listen to that signal then your body's going to do something to force you to listen and we don't want to get to that stage so i was super stressed putting myself under a lot of pressure working like 24 7 because of some new roles that i have at my work and it just wasn't healthy at all like i wasn't or like haven't been because i'm still getting it together 
have literally like four or five hours of sleep a night not good not literally eating properly at all just eating trash or snacking just to get through the day because i was so stressed or i wouldn't have time to cook or things like that just i feel so under such pressure which is so silly and also because you know there's always time there's always time to do these things anyway um not finding time to like go to the gym and exercise and things i like gained a little weight which is not a problem but equally it is also just a a a sure sign that i've not been taking care of myself like so burnt out there was a stage one day during work and i genuinely questioned like am i having a heart attack right now because i had like pains in my arms and especially in my left arm and i felt so tap tapy like really stuffy so i after that decided nah you know what like i'm only a child i'm only 27 this is no way for me to be like living my life already i'm gonna exhaust myself to the point where i make myself sick and that's not what i want at all so we're rebranding i got my first massage last week 27 years of life i never had a massage the workers are actual physiotherapists they're not just like a masseuse oh my god i felt all this week i felt like i could breathe differently after the massage and it was actually my therapist said no like you you know people are like oh you need a massage ha 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 he he she's like oh, you actually need a massage it like forces the toxins out of your body and forces your body to relax like physically makes your body relax so you need to go get one like actually anyway let's get on with life but i just thought may as well just you know give it a bit of an explanation i love to yap 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 so thought why not just yap and catch up on what's been going on and let's look forward to lots of nice activities and videos because now is my favorite time of year especially in seoul i'll be visiting home soon it'll be my birthday fall winter it's just the best although we have been warned that seoul or korea's winter is going to be insanely cold this year so maybe that's not something to look forward to but anyway it's all part of it's all part of the process so i'm currently in my pajamas just never mind the outfit and like no makeup but my hair actually is looking quite cute i curled it yesterday and this is the one good thing about extensions i don't know if i've like mentioned that i have like semi-permanent extensions in my hair now but it's just the best way to always look together which again, I'm sitting back down. That's another thing that I realized in order for me to like feel good, I need to like feel like I look like I have it together. So I have been getting my nails done. I have been getting my eyelashes done. I got my hair done. And that has 100% made me feel better generally just every day not in a conceited way at all like it just is that when you feel okay then i think it manifests that like mentally you feel okay and physically then you start feeling better and things so uh, there's something in it and korea of course is the best place to have like anything beauty healthcare related done so that's it that's everything so yeah let's go and like live our lives now and make some positive changes and less surviving and more thriving kaja let's do it